Hi guys, here's a short video from Paulina and myself looking at hydrotherapy for athletic rehabilitation. We're going to provide you with some exercise examples, a rationale and research underpinning this modality. Hope you enjoy. So why use hydrotherapy? According to a systematic review by Kim and Choi in 2014, the effects of water buoyancy allow athletes an early return to dynamic exercise for a number of reasons. Some of those being a decrease in the perception of pain due to sensory input from water, a reduction of gravity acting on the body, and reduced weight bearing and shearing forces through the affected joint or muscle. Other advantages of hydrotherapy according to Noel et al in 2013 are that it can help increase range of movement due to a reduction of the weight of the limb when submerged in water and can also help improve static and dynamic balance as the body adjusts to the turbulence of the water. Hydrotherapy allows for the early introduction of plyometric training which can help improve muscle strength and power output reduce impact and shearing forces through the joints as well as reduced muscle soreness. Studies such as Martel et al in 2005 have shown a significant increase in vertical jump height and concentric peak torque after just six weeks of plyometric training in water and concluded that plyometric training in water was as effective as plyometric training on land. So, what about running in water? While studies by Bushman and Wilbur et al have both proposed that running in water is comparable to running on land, and therefore cardiovascular fitness levels and VO2 max capacities can be maintained when running in a hydro environment. So how does weight bearing in water compare to weight bearing on land? Well, studies such as Skelton and Dinan in 1999 have suggested that standing in chest deep water is comparable to approximately 40% of the total body weight when standing on dry land, while stepping in waist deep water increases this weight bearing value to approximately 